How come you've never written a song for me? I'm no good at writing about things that make me happy. If we weren't musicians, we could just go to college together. It's very inconvenient to fall in love at your age, especially if it's the real thing. Tell me what you thought of the story when you first read it. I just thought it was, because I knew about the fan base, I just thought it was really cool that a lot of young people were connecting to this story and connecting to the characters and, um, and yeah, I just loved it in it, and I feel like it, it just had something for everyone, young and old, you know, everyone can relate to the love and loss and family love and a passion for something. I just think yeah. it kind of brought it all into a it nice little... It. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how life is one thing and then in an instant it becomes something else? Like here I am, Mia, the girl who thinks about the cello and Adam and Juilliard, and just like that. I like to go into movies knowing as little as possible, so I knew nothing. After about four minutes of you guys on screen, I knew you were doomed because you were so perfect and <laughs> so like wonderful. <laughs> there was no way you were not gonna die. There was a scene, we were, uh, we were shooting a flashback scene and, and there was music playing and the kids were hanging out and I had Murray in my arms and we were swinging around and kissing and I whispered to her as the camera was rolling, I was like, we only get to be this awesome because we're dead. <laughs> and you have to go through some really emotional, you know, crushing, devastating moments. You know, it was hard. I mean, obviously, um, you know, when you when you kind of put it into perspective with your own family, it kind of crushes you to even start to think about it. So kind of living through those emotions every single day for like two months was mm -hmm. hard, you know? It was really grueling and really kind of devastating, but it was kind of, you know, it was nice. It's nice to watch it in the movie and kind of see how realistic it is just because it's so well written and it was so hard to kind of not feel something when you're in those moments, you know? Why do I have this feeling you're about to mess up my entire life? A little mess never hurt anybody. I was just writing the story that I, I had to write and, you know, I think there's this idea that people who write young adult uh, novels are going back to sort of high school to draw from the things that they want to write from, but that's not true. I, I am usually writing about things that I'm grappling with now. It's just I always want to seem to want to tell the stories through young people. So I, I, I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised that it's read on different levels. Certainly younger teens are, are drawn to the love story. People with kids are, are really into sort of the idea of parents sacrificing everything. And then I, you know, I get a lot of emails and letters from readers. And then there's a different category for people who've gone through a really um, profound loss. There's something that speaks to them about this, this, this book, and I think the movie will have the same effect.